G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel again. We're back again with another draft video. What I'm doing obviously is going through uh, different various draft prospects in this year's upcoming draft and giving a little bit of a profile on them, analyzing their highlights and giving a rough opinion on what I think about them. So in this series, we have done Colby McKercher, Daniel Curtin, Charlie Edwards most recently on the channel and Clay Hall. And next up, I am going to be doing Nate Caddy from the Northern Knights in Victoria. If you don't know anything about Nate Caddy, I believe he's the nephew of Josh Caddy, uh, but he is kind of an undersized key forward prospect who can roll through the midfield at stoppages and stuff like that, showed a bit of versatility and uh, an explosive player, hits the scoreboard and is likely to go in the first 10 picks. For me, his personal range is somewhere between, I'd be surprised if Hawks or the Bulldogs pick him at five or six, but anywhere between seven, eight, nine, and 10, uh, I can't see him sliding past Geelong at pick 10. So I think that is about his range. But he's a very good prospect. Another one of those ones where we're still trying to figure out his best position. But if he nails it in either position, he becomes a very, very valuable prospect. So what we're gonna do today is watch two videos from the Footy Stuff YouTube channel where I've been watching all of his highlights. And uh, also I wanna take you through the, his profile on Rookie Me Central as a way to add to these sort of videos, giving you a rough profile on how he is. So like I said, this is the profile from uh, Rookie Me Central, which uh, used to be called something else that is now escaping me, forgive me, but all you need to know is they're called Rookie Me Central now. And uh, they give a pretty cool profile, particularly on the top prospects. They give you a snapshot on um, on what they're like. They give you some analysis here. They got his strengths as aerial ability, overhead marking, his reach. That's another thing. His wingspan is apparently that of a six foot eight person. So I think he stands at about six three, but he's got a wingspan of six foot eight, which would help him even though he's an undersized sort of forward target, get some reach and be able to take those grabs. Uh, scoreboard impact, speed and upside. Uh, where he can improve is apparently ground, ground balls and, um, and his size. You just need to grow a bit, Nate. Down here are his stats for Vic Metro, both in 2022 and 23. And then the same thing again for Northern Knights in the Coates Talent League. So for Vic Metro at this level this year, he uh, I think he played predominantly forward. He just played the two games, although yeah, it doesn't actually, where does it say games? Forgive me, sorry, he played three games. Uh, he had 11 disposals and he kicked two goals on average. In the Coach Talent League, he kicked 18 from 13 last year as an under underager, and this year kicked 25 goals from nine games. So he's had a, a pretty big improved season to be averaging nearly three goals a game and 16 possessions. Those are pretty good numbers. So I'm gonna run two uh, highlight compilations from uh, Footy Stuff. And when I say highlight, I believe it will have every possession he gets, not just the best stuff, which I find helpful. Um, the first one we're gonna watch is from the Talent League in round 16, where he won a best on ground performance. And then the second video we're gonna watch is from an under, uh, under 18s national championships game. So a slight difference in level there. Let's watch the first one. So interesting, he is starting in the center circle there as a on baller and he wins a clearance starter to start off that nicely done. Gets a shot on goal there and absolutely shanks it. But if you look at the bottom right there, 20 possessions, 10 marks and four goals from nine attempts in this game. So this is a pretty big performance from Nate Caddy. Again, starting in the center square, sort of rushes a kick forward. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a blind kick, but that's all right. Surge the ball forward. Takes a strong pack mark there. So you can see a bit of contested marking ability as well. And if he's 192 now, he's probably gonna grow to that 193, 194 height, which, you know, there's Gunston in the league. There's more than that, actually. There's Jack Darling, for instance. You know, these players can play above their height sometimes. It's another uncontested mark inside 50 here. So let's uh, hopefully get a look at the set shot. Hard to tell if wind effect that, but um, yeah, it didn't look like a good set shot. Some link up play there. So he's covering the ground so far. Now it looks like he's playing as a forward target in offense. And again, same here. So he's moving between the forward line and the midfield and so far having a pretty strong impact. This will be his second shot at goal or third actually, if you include the shank. Makes no mistake with that one. That's a pretty good effort. It does look like wind is affecting the kick as well. Oh, that was, that's a hilarious effort. What does Caddy do here? He stops and turns. Is this a good accurate kick? Yep, pretty good considering uh, quick reaction time to steady himself. And again, you can see he's got the peroxide hair there. He is playing at the stoppage there. So he is moving around quite a bit. 
Covering some ground again with some link-up plays. So we're seeing a very well-rounded game so far in terms of playing different roles. That's a good mark. In a dangerous position as well. Yeah, look, he's, he's quite a lot smaller than some of those key defenders there. How does he how does he go with the kick, though? That's all that matters. Oh, he gets awarded a 50-meter penalty. Okay, so you'd imagine he kicks this one. And he makes no mistake. Affects the smother there. Kind of was just in the right place at the right time, to be fair. It's a good kick inside 50. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's proving to be a pretty good forward target. Just getting enough separation on his man to, for the lead. How's the kick? Is that a goal? It's a goal. He has a good set shot. Again, we don't know if it's windy. It's hard to tell. Here he is on the outside running to receive. Again, just involved in a little bit of gentle link-up play. Sort of gets edged off it there, but it gets a hand to it. Oh, was that him that followed it up with a crunching tackle? That was impressive. Is it a free kick? It is a free kick, so maybe a little bit careless, but the aggression was nice. And again, just creating separation. His team is winning heavily in this game. That was a shank kick. Good strong mark out in front as well, again. So proving to be a hard forward target to stop in this game. That's a tough kick. He's missed slightly to the right. Not a, not a bad effort. Oh, aggressively tries to win the clearance but slips over. Might have had a little nudge there, not sure. Oh, flies high. Has he taken that down? Oh, unlucky. He's definitely an aerial threat. Oh my God, he kicked that out on the full. So we're seeing some up and down stuff, like some really heroic stuff, and then just, you know, a couple of careless things like that. But he's definitely a threat. He's definitely a game changer. Again, that's not a good kick on goal, but it, it did it sort of float to the same direction as the one at the other end did, which suggests it could be Breeze, but still not a great kick, even allowing for Breeze. Has he kicked a much harder one there? He has, he has. That might have been a better angle for, for the wind for him. So what do we see from that video? We saw a player who is dynamic, who plays multiple roles, is a forward threat, plays aggressively, wins clearances, seems to know how, how to find the football. Um, goal kicking seemed a little bit erratic and he is prone to the odd mistake, but a very dynamic player and that kind of justifies people looking at him in the top half a dozen to a dozen picks. Okay, now this game is him in the national championships against WA. Again, this is a slightly higher standard because he's playing against uh, the best kids in WA versus just, um, I've already forgotten who the opponent was in that first game, but another um, Coates Talent League team. There we go. Nice, uh, nice mark and lead. He is a pretty solid mark and lead player. We're seeing that. The kick uh, technique was nice. Again, it wasn't really... To anyone's advantage, but that might not be necessarily his fault. Again, crunches with a late tackle. So he seems to be a strong tackler. In fact, you can see down the bottom right there, he gets 10 touches in this game, 5 marks, 5 tackles. That's pretty good numbers for a key forward target. That's a good mark considering the kick was a flower bag. He also kicks 3 goals in this game. Oh, that was a bad decision. Bad decision, Nate. How's he go here? Hard to get clean hands on the ball. If that was a legal handball, it was a very good one. It might not have been. It's hard to tell what the conditions are like, to be fair. So here he is at a, at a stoppage. Does well to intercept that. Good intensity. Follows up with a tackle. Well done. Okay, so just using the extra reach there to read the ball well and take the mark. This is a strength for him for sure. And puts away the goal that he should have. There, Vic Metro crunching WA in this game. But nonetheless, well done, Nate, there. Another tackle. So, yeah, pretty good tackler for an inside 50 player. You know, if he's doing five tackles a game, if he pulls that off, that would be outrageous. Good. Another strong mark. Reading the play well, using his reach to advantage, and um, this is his strong suit. How's the kick go? Again, an accurate kick on that one, so maybe it's not as windy in this game, but yeah, seems to be a fairly solid shot on goal. 
Ooh, does well there. Who's the mark two? Have they paid that to Caddy? I actually did think it was a number 36 there. Maybe I need to see it again. He's lining up for his third. Capping off a pretty good game for Caddy here. I think numbers of five tackles, five marks, three goals. That's pretty solid for a forward target. He's comparatively spending more time forward in this game than at stoppages. Here we go. Yep, handball off. This might be a goal assist. It's a score assist anyway. Nice movement through traffic. Gets a nice handball off. Continues the chain. So pushing high up the ground here. Oh, the handball wasn't... Great for him, he might not have expected it. He did well there. He turned that nothing into something there. He's rucking now. And good follow-up. Good intensity by Caddy. I like how much he tackles. I didn't realize that before watching his highlights. Oh, very nicely done. Swerves out of trouble there. Gets the handball off. He looks better as this game has progressed. He looks like a little bit more um, composed is probably the right word. Flies high for a mark, gets spoiled. That was a tough chance. Again, follows up with a tackle. You gotta like that intensity, that defensive pressure for a tall forward. All right, so that's the end of the second video. Let me know what you thought, guys. Um, like I said, I see there's a um, there's a dynamic edge to him. He can play multiple roles. I really like his defensive intensity, like I said. Uh, he's powerfully built. He's got a great reach. He's a very strong mark and lead player. You gotta like that. Sure, he makes a couple of mistakes in these couple of videos, but uh, they were two pretty damn good performances, to be honest. And like I said, these videos from Footy Stuff can be revealing because it will show the best and the worst. Uh, I see plenty to like there with Nate Caddy. You can see why, based on the upside there, you know, if he becomes a fully fledged midfielder, or even if he just stays as a forward who applies defensive pressure, you can see him being a very, very valuable commodity. So let me know in the comments what you thought of him. Where do you think he'll go? Do you want your club to draft him? And as always, I'll take nominations for future videos as well, guys. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.